Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Hey Listen Game Stream. My name is Zach Hartsman, and I am continuing our playthrough of the Artful Escape, the game we started two weeks ago. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, I've switched to uh, streaming every other week to make sure I have enough time to do all of the wild projects that I've been a part of lately. And this game is really cool. It's all about music. And like living up to your potential, whether it's your own known potential or what other people think you are capable of. It's also very, very psychedelic. I haven't taught with this game myself, but it is a game that I might consider teaching with in the future. It's basically a 2D walking simulator. Um, there is some gameplay, but it's nothing astronomical it's pretty simple walk around talk to people play some music Zom, what happened where am i you're aboard the cosmic lung a vessel across the extraordinary what does that mean our character here is typically a folk singer Francis, but he secretly wants to be like a species space opera rock star caravans of aimless cacophonous debauchery a festival. You mean like a music festival? <laughs> that sounds familiar. Why don't you have an explore? Hmm? Feel things out. May I offer some advice, human? Okay. Don't lose your head. Oops, cut, cut him off. Don't mind. lose your head. Alright, so now we're gonna go explore. This is so far out. What's up there, lad? I'm just trying to keep my head. Ah, uh, a sensible thing. To rather important, one said. Alright. No way! There's a whole damn theater in here! This is cool. Can I play music? I can't play music when I'm in here. I want to play my guitar. Who's this guy? Where to? Oh, it's an elevator. No, not yet. I guess I can dance. Oh, this song makes me feel like pulling some shape. Oh, if I hold the button, so I do different dance moves. Hey, on holiday, how's it going? Dance complete. Dance complete, sure. Why not? Lightning must be performing here. Ah, uh, Lightning's the guy who brought me here. I'm doing all right. Oop, I hear my dog playing with a squeaky toy in the background. Let's go to the lower decks. Why not? Hey, Bear Jew, how's it going? Got a little... club area. Backstage. I know. Act cool. Cooler than usual. He's never played a show. Oh, they're talking about me. Hey, Red Band. He's never even left Colorado. You're gonna fry his brain. Oh, I think there's a little magic in him. Big fan of me. Oh, thank you. There has to be. For anyone who doesn't know, this guy is voiced by Carl Weathers. He thought he was a folk musician this afternoon! Where are you sending him? So yeah, you're a folk musician whose uncle is a very famous folk musician. Everyone thinks you're gonna be like him, oh, but you don't want to be like him. Oh, of the Heliotroms. You are pathetic. Sorry, what's the Heliotroms? Ah, Francis! Knew you'd probably make it. The Heliotroms, well, it's somewhat of a monument to me. Paid for by you. The whimsical beginnings of my 51 Universal Tour. The tour where I would successfully jam with the Glamorgon. The Glamorgon. Wow. What, what's a Glamorgon? This is bogus. Mark, seriously, he's gonna get vaporized. My name is Lightman. Not Mark. <laughs> Recalibrate holograms for the kid. This is on you. So she thinks I'm gonna die. Man, she really murders my vibe. 
Any questions? What's the Human Matroms venue? What kind of show is this? Yeah, what kind of show what is this? What kind of show is this? Don't know if there's an earthly comparison, young blood. When creatures buy a ticket to the Cosmic Lung, they're guaranteed a spectacle of unique entertainment. And that's us. I feel like there was supposed to be some audio we there. Out into wild dimensions, shred on the edge of cliff slide into amphitheaters, raise the foundations of reality itself. Then it's all broadcast into the theater. Live, baby. Live. Live. Live? Um, okay, sure. What's the Heliotrom's uh, venue? More of the whole dimension. Their denizens socially resemble the actor hunter gatherers of the Philippines. Now, their wealth and standing is determined by the brilliance of their stories. They trade in stories. Oh man, they feed on them. Cool. cool. Visit Violetta, she'll get you tuned in. So, where is she? Wait, is there anything else I sh I... Oh, 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 okay. Still backstage. Anything on this other side? Can I check your coat? We're at a professional, exceptionally discreet service. I don't think I have you a coat. Honestly, look like you're selling the coat. I'm afraid we're close. Selling people's coats. Every time I fall asleep, I wake up on the outside of my. Sure. That's a big pile of clothes in the back. Where to? Uh. Top floor. Okay, we got the bar. Zom, this is so gonzo. You're like an intelligence from another world again. So we got some glitches, some bugs. The audio is not always coming out. I can only enraptured with a sense of wonderment, majesty, a certain... Je ne sais quoi. I guess so. What do you do here? You work on the lawn? I am Lightman's first mate. I see to his affairs, anticipate needs, acquire the impossible. Cool. What impossible things have you acquired? Did you walk through the Austrian opera? This game's very much a walking sim. It's just a lot. It's actually a lot of reading, which is good. I love that. The voice I acting is very good. Whole theater? An opera house, yes. There's so many in Vienna, it's easy to dash. I left a paper mache replica in its place. Hmm. So I guess that venue outside. What can I get you? Wait, how old are you? Old enough. Seventeen, am I honest? Lie, or I exist outside I the exist realm of outside age? outside the realm of age. Not here, you don't. I guess even in space, the well, Jerkin Edge is 21. Glam glam juice you want? Try it out. I'm gonna really cater to Fine. Ooh, look at that little guy. Look at these little guys. Oop, there's my guitar. My guitar. Violetta, you gotta get me out of this. Don't look at me while I work. Oh. Sorry, I'm not looking. What were you thinking, coming out here? This is your fault. I had no idea what I was signing up for. Curse you time. <laughs> hey, I didn't want you for the show, and only because there's no one left. I gotta get back to Calypso. So Calypso was his hometown for anyone new show? to the stream? Oh, crap. I forgot about the and show. And you were supposed to play a show there. Listen, Francis, this place, folk music. the long, we put on three shows every tour. That's the contract. No shows, no contract, and no clearance to the next station. You don't play, you don't get home. I think I'm gonna hurl. So we gotta Relay play. connected successfully. That sounded very similar to a character from Portal, We're I feel. Done. Anything else? What do you what do, do here? Do you do here? The passengers think I'm in maintenance. They can't know otherwise. No. That I run this ship. And that I am, without question... Yeah, I think so. No, not Wheelie. Wheelie had more... I don't know. 
the greatest laser artist in the galaxy. Maybe like the little turrets, I don't know. Are you serious? That is so far out. Well, wish me luck. I'm not gonna say this was a mistake. Pay no attention to me. Uh, okay. <laughs> My guitar. So where do I go now? Where to? Uh, I guess we go talk to Lightman. Back towards the entrance, maybe? Yep, there he is. Okay, quickly now. This is the Grand Theater. Performance of the broadcast of the stage here. I'm gonna be broadcast to all these people? Heavens no, this is my stage. They'll play your pish posh in the disco. But, but no one in Calypso can see the broadcast. They couldn't accidentally tune in? So How afraid people will see him. Come on, man, follow me. I wonder how long it took to make this game. It's very pretty. Now, this isn't a traditional performance. See, there's no stage. Well, there is. The landscape is the stage. But there's also stages. You feel me? Not really. It's like there won't actually be people there. The, what should I what, play? What they say earlier, holograms. I got this folky ballad about the toil of a miner's life. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't do that. You wear folk, no folk like music. a cheap suit, young blood. You're something else entirely. No time to gab, you're on! That's gonna do that fun loading screen again, isn't it? Yep. Very trippy, this game. Alright, let's get to the music part. We haven't played some music in a little while. There we are. Oh. Is that Violetta? Yeah. You made it. Violetta. Where am I? You're in the far reaches of the cosmos now, kid. Far reaches of the cosmos. And you want me to just dance out into it? That's right. Sparkle in your eye, can What am I supposed to do? Head east. Into the- You're looking for a creature called Star Gordon. He'll help you find your way back to the lung. Don't need to book through his agent. His agent? It's on Holiday Street, I think. Is this gonna be dangerous? Probably. Oh, yeah. Yep. I don't even come out here. Metal. Let me ask you this. When you're shredding that sci-fi guitar nonsense, who are you? An emperor of dying stars, the captain of my soul, a master of all destiny. I like dying stars. An emperor of dying stars. Then that's who you must become. Violetta! Damn it! Okay. Oh, I got my guitar back. Okay, different buttons, different music. Impossible! Possible. So you could play guitar or not, I guess.
Right, so this is the type of musician who wants to be, whereas back home he's known as just a folk music musician. Jump and hold Y to activate the stage pad. Cool. What do we got? Oh, we got that mini game again. All right. We have to press the buttons that light up there. Oop, just two, okay. Oh, cool. An ode to lightning. In 1927, on the outer reaches of occupied space, a child was found adrift in a photon beam. Is that Lightman? His rescuers Carl named Weathers. him Lightman. By the time yeah. he was 12, many considered Lightman to be the greatest musician alive. I wonder if there's like an achievement to get all those lampposts. More info. On this spot in 1952, Lightman began his legendary Goldweaver tour. The tour would culminate with a performance unlike any other, a duet with the Glamour Gong. The Glamour it was God. to be the greatest performance That's who I was in told history to meet, right? of the universe. Hold well, the jam with the environment. Here we're lighting up the environment as, as we play guitar and going through. The Glamagon resides in the Hyperion Whale Zone. All are welcome to enter the Whale Zone, but only those who entertain the Glamagon are permitted to leave. So we need to For entertain many, the Glamagon. Get it is back a to the trip, other ship. Risking his life and that of his crew. Lightman arrived at the Whale Zone in August of 53. This game is a very good case for describing the games of as art. The Glamagon's biology. It is described as a vision so brilliant that many creatures remain transfixed. I see that it has like the same pattern with like the buttons to press during and the Simon it. Says game. Until they perish. Understandably, Glamagons are very hard to impress. Looks like a big bug. Like a moth or something. Are we almost at the stage, or where is this the concert? I assume that each level is going to end like with that music, timing, remember game, memory game. There are no recordings of Lightman and the Glamagon survived the performance. Their duet was heard across dimensions and cemented Lightman's place as one of humankind's seminal art. Oh! That's that up. Don't fall. Don't fall.
game's very pretty. On his return, Lightman was granted command of the Cosmic Lung. That's where we were. The Lung is an entertainment okay. vessel with a rich history, stepping stone for many legendary artists. creature animal design. What's going on over here? Oh, looks like we're... Keep going? Oh, keep going. I thought that's where we're going to perform. Holiday Street. Holiday Street. Must be headed in the right direction. Yeah, that's where they said the agent is. Looks like something out of Earth. Grollum, Talent, and Flair. Gold Weaver Tour, Lightman. Got a cat? Hey there, friend. Do not touch me. Crap! I, I, I didn't know you could talk. <sighs> I resisted it as long as I could. Hmm. You have the bearing of a creature in the instinctual throes of some vast cosmic migration. We're trying to put on a show. Yeah. Wow. Does a migration always go there and back, or can it be one way? It can be. Why? Not planning or at not as myself. Listen, I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Star really? Gordon. You'd better go straight through. That's ominous. Right, went from like a hotel looking thing to this creepy yeah. cavern. Okay, we've got a sleeping beast over here. Hey, beastie, I'd like to make a... Uh, make... I'd like to make an appointment? Yeah. Dread. Huh? That was the entrance of a busker, not a crossfire hurt. It's a damn monstrosity. Look at the size of it. I can see it's got the pattern on Ugh. its forehead. Right. First impressions. Still testing this holographic stage out. Personal project of mine. I'll let you take it for a test drive. You lucky duck. Ooh, look at this. All right, play some music. So yeah, these parts are like Simon says.
harder. such an insignificant creature. Alright. You're too kind, it's your pleasure. Learn to howl from a wild wolf pack. Wolf pack, it is. Learn to howl from a wild wolf pack. And, of course, you're looking for representation. Oh, so this is just the agent. <laughs> no. I'm trying to make an appointment with Star Gordon. Are you absolutely sure? Well, I, I need to get back to the Cosmic the Horn. Mm, I can understand that. But is it worth the risk? What? What does that mean? Hey, all be it for me to argue. I'm sure he'll be happy for the work. I is what worth the risk? Oh, his den is on the other side of Disco Worm Ridge. Disco Worm Ridge. Oh, it's gonna be a hell of a ride, human. I bet my hump on it. So now I can go see whoever I need to play music to and impress. stages. Like hard to push those buttons at the same time. Okay, we got like space whales. With cities on their back. Dope. This game is dope. little walking sections in between areas drag a little bit, but that's okay. It's a very pretty to look at. To the Star Gordon. Star Gordons. Looks like an amusement park ride. Let's go. This one here looks like Jupiter. Oh, who's this person? 
come, come. Welcome go. to Star the Trip of a Lifetime. Keep your limbs inside the car. Just sing to power your journey. I won't be singing. Can I play a holographic guitar? You're welcome to try that sort of So I go on here. And play guitar. So it is an amusement park ride. What if I stop? Yeah, it keeps moving. Since a little fly buzzed in, I'm looking for Star Gordon. <laughs> well, this is Star Gordon's, isn't it? Isn't it? I think so. Is it? You, friend of Lightman's? Yeah, I am the delightful. I'm trying to get back to the cosmic world. I can't name. Just plays the guitar. Ah, that's so. You got the makings of a story in you. I can. See. It. Sometimes I feel like it's already been written for me. Who I am. Where I should be going. Ah, but where you're from, that's what interests me. Why don't I'm we go from on a trip together? Calypso, hmm? Colorado. You can tell me all about it. Yeah. Cool. Where are we going? Oh, to the star. Tell me of your home planet. <laughs> Earth. We're going to do that trippy loading screen again. Similar but different trippy loading screen. Oh, I can choose a home planet. Fireworks, starships, and romantic novels. Candy Hammer. Cream filled. Crocombouche? I don't know how to pronounce that. If I can't pronounce it, it's not the one I want. The Blue Gong. Sigler Pivot Joint. No wider than a bison's eye. Ooh, look at this fancy stuff. This is cool. I like that color. The whole civilization. Ratifies and institutes a new language every three hours. Just past Klugzers off of M1. 16A Park Street. Von Deladon. This is the first one. World of aluminum towers, colossal stadiums, and crystal bridges, all ringing in the key of A. Museum of a Billion Spiders, no. Cosmic Extraordinary. Brewers of milk that transports all consumers to a Manchester dance party in September 1987. Let's do it. Absolutely. So there are bits like this throughout the game where you're slowly like building like a new personality or persona for your character. Or uh, we're on a talk show apparently. Welcome back, Night Owls. Our last guest for all eternity is the delightful... ...an entertainer from beyond our naive concepts of reality. Welcome. Truly a pleasure. What's going on? I'm manipulating the thoughts of your television audience. A oh, pleasure. Truly a pleasure. Just roll with it. Isn't it? You're from Galaxram. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, of course. Ooh. Tell me about it. Um sure. It's a utopian civilization devoted to leisure and luxury. It's a gonzo war machine of constant laser battles. It occupies a timer where nothing's ever where you left it. 
I like that it one. It occupies a time rift where nothing is ever where you left it. It must have been hard to tell up from down. This game is weird. <laughs> I love it. Up was down three days of the week as specified by the council. I never slept in the same bed twice. It took me a while to find myself, as you can imagine. Up was down three days of the week as specified by the council. Ah, so it was a... a Kafkaesque upside down. I don't even know what that means. Truly amazed of statues and regulations concerning statutes of reality itself. We lived our lives in simulations of increasingly outlandish arrangements. The paperwork had formed a typhoon from which there was the no escape. The paperwork had formed a typhoon from which there was no escape. It's a miracle you survived. It was actually a clerical error. Your conquests seem outlandish, unbelievable in some cases. What would you say is your greatest achievement? Commanding the heavy metal light brigade, leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud galactic symphony, being the first soloist to jam with an alien mothership. Let's do the symphony. Leading the space convoy of the infinitely loud galactic symphony. That must have been a great honor. So I don't know why we're at a talk show right now, but it's fine. Toured with them for 48 years, came back a year younger than when I left. I've never known such power it was intoxicating. Toured with them for 48 years, came back a year younger than when I left. It's unwise though, growing backwards, things tend to unravel. <laughs> oh, what I wouldn't give to see a show like that. To get out of the house for a night, to drown out the voices just for a while. There's been much made about your escape from the planet. How did it happen? Through a portal on the inside of a giant's eye, stowed away in a combat zeppelin on a starship made from champagne flutes. On a starship made from champagne flutes. Oh, sounds luxurious. Possibly dazzling. The in-flight experiment was except entertainment was exceptional, dazzling but unnerving. It flew itself. It was sounding like a glass harp spinning godly melodies. The in-flight entertainment was exceptional. What did you watch? A mystery. Something about Prague disappearing? Did you ever see the ship again? Through a telescope. The wind is right. We talk, have coffee talk. if she's in town. Have coffee if she's in town. Ah. It's a dizzying tale. I wonder what kind of creature would be born from these strange circumstances. What would they dream? Love. Fear. What scares you? What scares me? Ooh, now we're gonna learn uh, some hello? real stuff about him. Where would I begin? Okay, here we go. So right, he's a folk singer, but his uncle was a really famous folk singer and his uncle passed away but now people want him to be like his uncle but he doesn't want to perform folk music he wants to perform rock music so to go through a quiet life to live beneath the towering shadow uh my uncle your uncle who's your uncle he's a legend he's a legend where i'm from he's cast in bronze and i'm some Pale, fleshy boy. Voices from the past. Bronze statues. Hard to reconcile with. Though, if you don't mind me saying, these sound like the worries of a terrestrial teenage boy. I am a teenage boy. Huh? Oh, <laughs> that's not true. Hmm, the dreary doldrums of a humanoid. Without grief or grandeur. No, totally untrue. You're lying to our live studio audience, aren't you? They seem affable, I know, but they're ravenous. <laughs> they're, uh, what? We're all hungry for blood out here. Once Lightman knew we planned to eat him, he never came back. They want to eat me. What? But that's all we've got time for, I'm afraid. You have been a delight. Yeah. Pleasure to be here. I don't know if it was a pleasure to be here. Yes, but we're not really here, are we? Excuse me? Not really anywhere at all. <gasps> Hello? So 
I'm still in that suit, not my other outfit. No guitar at the moment. Huh. Yeah, it's very pretty. Like, every single frame of it. This is the kind of indie game that takes years to develop, I feel. Star Gordon? <laughs> Lost your head in there, little hen. Oh, I thought you were gonna shoot the coop. Sorry, I kind of forgot where I was and what I was doing. That happened a lot. Yeah, it's kind of my thing. It wasn't terrible for a first try. Now, right. time to cut a track. When do we get back to the long? New here, ain't you? The It'll cosmic while, extraordinary is not linear. It moves around, wears disguises, loops itself in ribbons. I've never been in a real recording studio. Okay, so now we're gonna make some music. Oh, made all kind of records here. Got a bootleg of the first drum. Now, why don't you play a few notes to give me some levels? Press A when you're a ready. Revelation! But I'm getting a, a little buzz in here, like an audience unimpressed by a hackneyed magic. You getting that? No. Think you'll need a little mountain reverb. Hold on to something. Sure. Okay. W wait, what? Ooh, we're on a stage now, like a real stage. Spooky skulls. What happened to these guys? Saw a Glamagon. Oh, the Glamagon killed them. So spectacular they couldn't look away, poor bastards. A Glamagon. Lightman jammed with the Glamagon. Yeah, yeah, and that's going back. The trick is you have to be more spectacular than the Glamagon. I've got a Glamagon of my own. We've all got Glamagons, I suppose. But for this performance, you are the Glamagon. Promise me you'll play as if your dreams were now memories and the wonders of reality were all within your reach. Okay, I will do that. Wow. Okay, so now I can actually press different different buttons for different notes, which I couldn't do before. I like that it's giving me options to just kind of press what I want this time around, rather than following specific instructions. That's cool, because that'll sound different depending on the player. I wonder, I don't know exactly how long this game is. Probably four to five hours is my guess. 
perfect typical length for a game like this. Enjoy the ride. I'm not sure where it began or where it really ended. Exactly. You get it. It's always a thrill when someone gets it. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe nice and simple. you're a little closer to finding the road you Out here, it feels easy, like like I'm where I'm supposed to be. And that's good. Rather than pretending to be a folk singer back home. I don't think so. It's supposed to be hard making serious stuff. It's supposed to be painful. If it comes easy, I feel like I'm not trying hard enough. That's a good life lesson. Even though You're it's wrong. You're a weird kid. If you remember anything, remember this. Your story is who you are. And once someone knows the road you're on, they cannot help but imagine where it leads. Thanks, Star Gordon. The way back to the cosmic lab, it's in the lake. In the lake, that's where the monster thing is, right? Ooh, made a note. Oh, so is this the sit? Finally there? I think so. Creepy looking monster. Well, that's it. You've woken us up. No turning back now. We must be entertained. I am the delightful! It's like from Rick and Morty, show me what you got. From Galaxram! Leader of the infinitely loud Galactic Symphony! Hmm. We find you initially compelling, mildly spectacular, but no more than a fleck of glitter in the snow. No, that's not... And we must be entertained. Oh, we must be fed! Well, uh, let's entertain, I guess. I know! Alright, we got my holographic stage. And this guy's got the, the music patterns on his face. So, Your we're gonna do some Simon Says. Reminds me of Lightman. Well, then. Let's dance. Oh boy. Oh, it's faster. Oh, it is like a moth, I was right. I like whoever designed all the creatures in this game. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. Still no mistakes, we're good. Oh, we go into space. Alright. 
God. Oh boy. Oh, I did it. I like somewhat guessed on the last one. Back to the Step cosmic one. And I shall project your image across the known universe. Whoa. The known universe? On every spectrum, station, and frequency, from the greatest metropolis to the smallest mountain town. Ah, but he's from Calypso, a small mountain town. Well, He's afraid. He doesn't want them to see him. That's pretty heavy. That's enormous. Because everyone wants him to be a folk musician. You refuse. It's because, well, it's kind of complicated. Back home, people think I'm going to replace a hero. I'm supposed to be insightful, someone serious. They, they think you're supposed to replace a hero. That's people true. People think I'm going to replace a hero. You're ashamed of what you have become. No. I don't know. I feel sorry for you, friend. I really do. For this decision may haunt your entire life. Yeah, you're giving up on an op opportunity. Sharpie loading screen. Sharpie loading screen. Wait, like this game is asking you. The developers are asking you to get high and play this game. Back to the cosmic lung. And it's 8.24, so this honestly seems like the perfect place to stop. I bet Lightman and Violetta are going to be pissed that I turned down the offer. That trip is a real freak out. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we're going to stop here. This seems like a good starting point. So we'll be back. So for anyone who doesn't know, my stream is now every other week. Because I have a lot of, besides my full-time job, I have now other, like, part-time jobs going on so we're switching to every other week um just so i don't get burnt out from streaming every week so we'll be back in two weeks at 7 30 p.m eastern time um once again i'm zach hartsman this is the hey listen game stream and thank you all for stopping by and hanging out and i'll and come so you can support on patreon you can come hang out in the discord we're all good people all right so thanks again holiday bear jew everyone else who stopped by i will see you all later